Assalamu alaikum doctors today our topic of discussion is all around the antifungal drugs so basically in this lecture we will be like more emphasizing on the general classification of antifungal drugs and the mechanism of action of certain antifungal drugs now let's move toward the antifungal drugs classification now antifungal drugs antifungal drugs is classified into three major groups that is antifungal drugs divided into three major groups that is antifungal antibiotics antibiotics another group is anti metabolites and azos Students, the antifungal drugs broadly classified into antifungal antibiotics, antimetabolites, and azos. Now, this antifungal antibiotic it is further classified into three important types of groups. That is, the first one is polyene antibiotics. So, polyene antibiotics contain amphotericin B, amphotericin B, nistatin, natamycin, and hemicin. So students, the polyene antibiotics uh, meaning that poly means many and in means multiple double bonds. So it means that these antibiotics contain the multiple double bond in their structure. So in this class we have amphotericin B, nistatin, natamycin, and hemicin. Uh, another class we have econo condensed antibiotic so in this class we have a case for fungin acetate so in this class we have case for fungin acetate and third class contain heterocyclic compounds you can say heterocyclic antibiotics so in this class we have famous drug that is gracio Following. So students, it is worth repeating the antifungal antibiotics further classified into polyene antibiotics, echinocondensed antibiotics, and heterocyclic antibiotics. So polyene antibiotics contain amphotericin B, nistatin, natamycin, hemacin, where echinocondensed antibiotics contain the caspofungin acetate, where heterocyclic antibiotics contain grace of following. If you talk about the antimetabolites, so antimetabolites contain flu cytosine that is the only drug that is coming under the class of anti-metabolites that is flu cytosine so if we talk about the azos now students if we this is one of the most important class of antifungal drug now if we talk about the azos the azos is further classified into two important groups that is Azos further classified into amidazole and triazos. So how to recall and how to pin down the drugs that are coming under the category of amidazole that is for that we are having a trick that is KMC. What is the trick? That is KMC, where K stands for ketoconazole, M stands for myconazole, C stands for clotrimazole. Where if I talk about the triazoles, it contain certain drugs so far that we have a trick that is VIP, where V stands for Vuriconazole, Etraconazole, and Bosaconazole. So, 
the azo further classified into imidazole and triazole in the class of imidazole we have ketoconazole myconazole and clotrimazole in the class of triazoles we have voriconazole itraconazole and posaconazole so student this is all about the general classification of antifungal drugs hopefully you are getting uh, this lecture till now up till now 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 we will be talking about the general mechanism of action which is very important part of this lecture and you have a sound knowledge of this as it is very important now students if i talk about the mechanism of action of the antifungal drugs so out of all antifungal drugs till now that we have discussed it the one of the most important antifungal drugs that is m4 tyrosine b now if i talk about the general mechanism of m4 tyrosine b i must say uh, let's suppose let's suppose this is a fungal cell this is a let's assume that this is a fungal cell so in the fungal cell in the center as you know that there will be nucleus and there will be uh, i would say some sort of organelles organelles like in the form of um, endopl endoplasmic reticulum in the form of mitochondria and there will be um, a lot of uh, you can say that uh, lipid inclusions molecule that is being spreaded inside in the fungal cell now students just assume that this is a fungal cell and this is the this is the cell membrane of this fungal cell very important this is a cell membrane of the fung uh, of the fungal cell out of this this cell membrane we are having a very important envelope of this fungal cell now this important layer that is present outside the uh, this uh, cell membrane this is so called as yes please as it is fungal cell so it must be surrounded by the chitin it must be surrounded by chitin it is very important layer of the fungal cell now this is let's suppose this is a fungal cell membrane and this is a fungal cell wall now just students pay attention uh, we are having a very important and very specialized sort of molecule we have a very specialized site of molecule that is being present and this fungal cell membrane and these molecules it's look like a sterol like cholesterol now students just pay attention this is very important points that in the fungal cell membrane we are having a very important and very specialized sort of molecule that is so called as ergosterol that is so called as that is called ergosterol what are the what are these molecule these important uh, molecules that is ergosterol now what happens that when we give this antifungal drugs uh, to the patients and the uh, like in the form of m4 tyrosine b molecule like let's suppose this is a like this like let's suppose this is a m4 tyrosine b molecule remember students that this ergosterol it is present on the fungal cell membrane but it is not present on the fungal cell wall this is very important point that this ergosterol it is present on the cell membrane of the fungal cell but it is not present on the fungal cell wall now let's assume that when this m4 tyrosine b is given to the patient what really happens that this m4 tyrosine b it get bind to the it get bind to the these ergosterol molecules these m4 tyrosine b it get bind to the m4 tyrosine this m4 tyrosine b it get bind to the ergosterol now students what happens when this m4 tyrosine b it get bind with these ergosterol it it create two important difference in this fungal cell membrane either either it will create some sort of uh, i would say pores some sort of pores in the fungal cell membrane that is pores as soon as when this m4 tyrosine b it get bind to these specialized sort of molecules that is ergosterol then what happens then it will uh, there will be some sort of pores created and these fungal uh, cell membrane 
there is one possibility the another possibility is that soon as when this amphotericin amphotericin b get bound to the ergus role it may create some sort of specialized sort of channels it form some sort of specialized channels in the fungal cell membrane but not in fungal cell wall this is important point now what happens soon as when it get bind to the ergus role there will be two possibility either it will create some sort of pores in the fungal cell membrane or it will create some sort of channels now what happens when it get bind so all the intracellular inclusion all the intracellular uh, components or i would say all the cell organelles that is present inside the cell what happens that when it it will uh, it will find their path so what happens that these intracellular contents it may leak out through this through this channels it will leak out through this channels these intracellular contents it will leak out from this specialized type of channel or it may leak out through certain pores that is being formed in the fungal cell membrane what happens when the all the fungal when these all intracellular contents it get uh, removed outside from the cell what happens that this fungal cell is no more active and it get and it is not able to maintain their own functions so ultimately what happen that this fungal cell lead to die it may lead to death so this action uh, uh, this is the action that is performed by the amphotericin b that is so that may lead to the funga fungicidal action fungicidal action meaning it may it do not uh, allow uh, it do not stop the growth of the fungal cell but rather it directly it kill the fungal cell so that's all about the general mechanism of action of the amphotericin b so students i repeat it once again till now we said that this is a fungal cell this is a fungal nucleus this is all uh, organelles and there is lipid inclusion so what happened this is a fungal cell membrane this is fungal cell wall that is made of the chitin what happens that this fungal cell membrane it consists of specialized sort of molecules that is so called as ergosterol so this is very important this ergosterol is present on fungal cell membrane but it is not present on fungal cell wall remember this points now what happened this amphotericin b when it get attached with this ergosterol molecule it will create two important difference either it will create some sort of pores in the fungal cell membrane or it will create some sort of channels in the fungal cell membrane but in either case if it there will be pores or there will be channels so from these passages the intracellular constitution that is present it may leak out from the cell and what happens when these intracellular uh, organelles and intracellular constitution it when it get leak out from these channels and from these pores so what happens that this fungal cell is no more able to perform its action and ultimately this fungal cell go to die and there will be fungal cell action occur so student this is a general mechanism of action of amphotericin b hopefully you are getting my point this is very important mechanism of action let's talk about let's talk about eco econo contains antibiotic basically it decreases the cell wall synthesis and griseofol when it act on the fungal nucleus and decrease the mitosis rate and it do not uh, kill the fungal cell directly but rather it will decrease the fungal cell growth rate so it may it, it do not lead to fungal cell action but it may lead to fungal static action if i talk about flu cytosin so it decrease the ribosome synthesis so uh, hopefully students you are getting my points uh, from the all anti fungal drugs mechanism of action you need to know the main mechanism of action of the amphotericin b as it is very important and famous drug of the anti fungal drugs so students this is all about the anti fungal drugs classification and mechanism of action hopefully you will like the video if you like the video make sure to subscribe our channel and share it with your friends thank you